very good evening to all. A very good evening to all. Clearly audible and visible now. So let us start with our part three of the revision series for our upcoming exams. And do give this All India mock test, which is going to be held on 19th of February. And the biggest advantage will be wherever you will be making a mistake, you will get the pre recorded video solution for each and every question. So your queries won't remain unanswered. And you will get an All India live ranking. So it will be held in the morning time from 9 a.m. onwards on 19th of February 2022. Then you can take the benefits of plus subscription, iconic subscription for these batch courses, which are already, which have already started on 2nd of February, targeting your next year exams, that is next pattern exams. Then upcoming NEET PG exams, different sort of batches have been created for your benefit with the help of MCQs, with the help of images, separate batches are there for all 19 subjects. And this is a batch course for your upcoming FMG exams to be held in June month. So do keep your keep your studies on. And if at all the dates are extended, that those that time period should be utilized if a person, if a student has completed his subjects. So that time duration should be utilized for rank enhancement. Don't think that your time will be wasted. So utilize it. We have to utilize that time. And that is the best thing that you can strengthen your weaker subjects. And then you can move ahead to enhance your ranks. Don't waste your time, which you are getting. If at all the dates are extended. This is a new thing which has been started in Unacademy Learners app. So you can Communicate one to one with me right from 730 onwards till 745. This is an open house session where the iconic subscribers currently it is open only to iconic subscribers, iconic subscription students. They can directly communicate in this time duration right from 730 PM to date itself. To clarify any of your doubts. So let us start with the session. You are good to go. First question. Urine sample during autopsy is preserved in which of the following? So correct answer to this question is correct answer to this is always always thymol. Urine is preserved in thymol. Okay, this is a repeat Jipmer exam question. Repeat Jipmer exam question. So, if I ask you that if I have to send the blood sample, I have taken blood from a person, and my target is this blood was to be utilized for DNA analysis or we say DNA fingerprinting. So now this blood will be preserved in which preservative answer quickly. This blood sample will be kept in which preservative or it will be taken in which vials. The target is DNA fingerprinting or DNA analysis answer goes with now the blood is preserved in EDTA because EDTA inhibits the growth of microorganisms in the sample. So EDTA coated vials are used. Now for DNA analysis, the best sample is blood. But suppose you are doing autopsy of a dead body and the policeman asks, sir, which is that visceral organ which will give best results for DNA analysis? So best results or we say best visceral organ for DNA analysis will be? Answer. Answer goes with spleen. Spleen gives very good results for your DNA analysis. And spleen is one organ which has to be specifically preserved. In which poisoning event? Spleen has to be specifically preserved in cyanide poisoning. In all other poisoning events, it is plus minus. You can, you cannot based on the findings in the case. But in cyanide poisoning, spleen has to be preserved because chances of cyanide detection is maximum from splenic tissues. Then in putrefied bodies, blood won't be available. 
because of putrefaction so there we prefer muscle tissue there we prefer muscle tissue thigh muscle tissue can be kept or any bones can be kept like a sternum bone can be preserved which we remove during autopsy so these are some basic things regarding dna analysis which should be remembered normally blood is preserved in sodium fluoride and potassium oxalate during autopsy for poison detection but if our target is dna analysis then edta is used then suppose i have to kept some organs for histopathology organs for histopathology to be done in pathology department so now we use the preservative used in that jar where the organ is kept is 10% formalin 10% formalin then there are many other things in visceral preservation and preservatives which should be revised never leave never leave these things histopathology is done in pathology department poison detection is done in forensic science lab there we send the visceral organs in saturated salt solution or rectified spirit but it never mix this formalin with your poison detection formalin is a preservative for histopathology for pathological diagnosis next question this is the slide this is the these are the crystals the colors have been shown to you and this is the question police goes to crime scene and find some white color stains after examination of sample under microscope crystals were seen as shown in image this is these are the crystals these are formed in which of the following test the correct answer goes with because the sample is a white color stain sample in the lines of the question it is given that the sample is a white color stain sample and the color of the crystals is brown colored and the shape is rhomboid so correct answer goes with florence test if the sample was a red color stain sample your answer will change to teakman your answer will then change to teakman the output is same in teakman's and florence the difference is in the sample the difference will be in the preserve in the reagents which are used answer this one microscopic crystals as shown in that image is seen in which of the following tests in which of the following test the moment you see pink color crystals even if you are not able to decipher the shape of the crystals so pink feathery crystals are seen only only in takayama hemochromogen test so your correct answer goes with takayama correct so this is another high yield topic trace evidence stain analysis the different tests uh, sensitive tests specific tests they should properly be revised before your exams now answer this one identify this instrument used in firearm case investigation these are your options a b c d rat gana medicine weekly theek hai my target was to ratify this <laughs> so that you don't make a mistake in such questions and your accuracy and your speed should be there to solve such questions they will help you solve other lengthy questions quickly if you solve this one quickly you will save your time so this is a microscope if at all you don't know about anything about this one thing is very clear that this is a microscope which we have been seeing since our 7th 8th class so this is a comparison microscope used in firearm case investigation so what is compared over the two two areas over here on one side what is kept is test bullet on another side what is kept is crime bullet crime bullet is one bullet which is recovered from a dead body during autopsy if the case was a gunshot case and bullets were present inside which we see on radiography so we have to retrieve the bullets those bullets are sent to forensic science lab such bullets are labeled as crime bullets now based on the markings over the bullet the ballistic expert gets an idea about the make and model of the weapon used so based on his idea he will test fire a bullet 
from that make and model of the gun. And then he will compare the primary markings over test bullet, which he has test fired over cotton bags, and the markings over crime bullet. If the markings match, he will confirm that the make and model is actually this same weapon. Okay? This is the role of comparison microscope. Now answer this one. What is this instrument? This instrument. What is this instrument? This is given in one of the options, helixometer. What is the purpose of helixometer? This is used to examine the barrel of a firearm weapon. So this is your helixometer. Answer this one. Estimate the range of shotgun with the help of injury as shown in image. Yes, correct, correct. Julie, Mansa, everyone is correct. Effie. The correct answer here goes with. Now, this is one area which is weaker from for many students, but this should not remain weak. This is a simple area. The types of entry wounds, the range of firearm weapon based on some few basic things. So the moment you see such an injury, one thing is very clear that there could be some pellets from a shotgun. What comes out if you fire a shotgun? Pellets, lead ke charre. So there are some central pellets which have entered, creating this central defect, correct? This is the central defect, but it is irregular. So such an entry wound is called as a rat hole entry wound. But along with this rat hole, what you are able to appreciate is there are some pellet wounds too in the form of a satellite wounds. The moment you see rat hole with satellite wounds, your range of the firearm weapon becomes more than 200 centimeter. Now suppose you are shown only this field. As was shown in your last year INI CT exams. Suppose I show you only this field. What will be the range of the shotgun? There is no central rat hole. What I am showing you is the individual pellet wounds only. So your answer will now shift towards yes, the now the range of the firearm weapon is more than 400 centimeter. Keep these things in mind. What about 30 to 180 centimeter? What happens here? You will get a irregular entry called rat hole because all the pellets will enter together with slight dispersion. What about less than 30? All the pellets, their unity is maintained. So when they enter the body, they create a oval entry wound. They create an oval entry wound. These are the different types of entry wound. In shotgun, the entry wound becomes variable. Why? Because the dispersion of the pellets increase as you move, as you increase the distance between weapon and target. Answer this one. Now, such questions should be answered within two to three seconds. How to approach such questions? See the color of the sample. The moment you see red color, what should strike to your mind is TT test. TT bat is red in color. So two options are easily ruled out. And the crystals are brown colored. It will be Tickman's and nothing else. You will take not more than two or three seconds. And with your 100% accuracy. The moment you see red color sample, TT test should come to your mind. These are your two microscopic crystal tests. Boyfriend tests are ruled out. Boyfriend will have semen sample, white stain sample. So boyfriend tests are ruled out. TT test will be your answer. Look at the color of the crystals, shape of the crystals, and you will mark your answer with 100% confirmation. Suppose instead of brown color rhombic crystals, I write pink feathery crystals. Answer goes towards Takayama. Suppose instead of red color over here, I write white color stains. Rest everything is same. The answer goes towards Florence. Suppose instead of red color, white stain sample is there and I write yellow color needle shaped crystals. Answer becomes barbarian. Clear? As simple as it is. Simple things should remain simple. Answer this one. All of the following tests can be used to assess the lies of a witness except.
which of the following is not used to assess the catch the lie of a witness or any person there are two julies one is julie breezy zayan one is julie tigdi both have given different answers so who and which one is correct breezy is correct so except means which one of the following is not used to assess the lie answer is galton system because galton system is another name for your fingerprinting method of identification is also called galton system of identification or dactylography or dermatoglyphics or dermatoglyphics so all other three options like polygraphy narco and your brain fingerprint they are used to catch lie of a person okay so in polygraphy what we do we make the person to sit over a chair and some questions are asked from this fellow some relevant and some irrelevant questions and fluctuations in the vitals is noted his respiratory rate heart rate pulse sweating everything is noted if the person is telling a lie his vitals will get shoot up so polygraphy catches the lie of a person in narco what we do we give a truth serum drug the truth serum drug is scopolamine if not available we can use thiopentone sodium thiopentone sodium can also be used but the truth serum drug if you have to pick one best answer best answer is scopolamine so under the effect of narcosis what happens the person has a tendency to speak truth so narco catches the lie of a person then what is brain fingerprinting the person speaks a lie but brain won't if our brain has seen a thing if our brain has heard about something if we have heard something the memories are present in our brain centers so this is the basis of brain fingerprinting so if the brain is shown some related things like images related to crime scene like audio clips related to the victim our brain will recognize the audio of the victim brain will recognize the visual images of the victim and brain will start releasing potentials every 300 milliseconds that is why brain fingerprinting is also called p300 test another name for this is p300 p4 potential 300 denotes at every 300 milliseconds you will get a potential so basically what what is done in brain fingerprinting again the person is made to sit over a chair and electrodes are placed all around his scalp eeg electrodes and on the eeg graph potentials are noted whether the potentials are getting on the whether we are getting the potentials on the graph or not so brain don't lie but the person can so the lies will be caught now oh, the question which was asked in your nimhans exam is before doing test is consent mandatory is consent mandatory yes or no leading question what about consent of the person before doing polygraphy narco or brain fingerprinting in indian setting so our law our indian legal system says consent is mandatory you cannot perform this test without the consent so will a accused ever give consent that please come and catch my lie answer is no so it can be done later on when the case is referred to courts on court's order if at all it is needed to solve the case then the test can be done now what about the results of the test are they admissible in court room as such can they be used as an evidence against the accused answer is no results are inadmissible as such if the person during narco analysis says yes i have killed my wife that statement of the person cannot be used as an evidence against him but the results they play a corroborative role to solve the crime they play a role in corroborating the facts of the crime like during narco the husband says after killing my wife i have hidden the knife at so and so place in the house police goes to that place recovers the knife over the handle they recover the fingerprints of the alleged husband very good corroboration the weapon has been recovered it has been correlated with finger. that can be utilized but the results as such are inadmissible in court okay so remember these basic things regarding these tests now what is drive by 
Ribavirin is a common name for which of the following? Ribavirin is a common name for which of the following? Ribavirin is a common name for chloral hydrate. Chloral hydrate, if mixed with ethyl alcohol, what is this combination called as? Combination of chloral hydrate and ethyl alcohol is called Mickey fin. Also sometimes called knockout drops. Also sometimes called knockout drops. Chloral hydrate is one of the stupefying agents. What is the list of stupefying agents? One is chloral hydrate. Others are? So your mnemonic comes out to be CCD. One C4 chloral hydrate. Another C4 cannabis. And D4? The common poison, the Tura, used for religious purpose also, easily available. That is why you get questions from this the Tura poisoning every now and then in one or the other exam. So these are our three stupefying agents. What is cephalic index in Indians? Quickly. Which value goes with Indians? The correct answer goes with 75 to 79.9 .9 to be exact. And this race is referred to as Mizati Syphilic, where lies our Indians, Chinese, and Europeans. So your mnemonic comes out to be mice. Then 70 to 74.9 .9 to be exact is Dolichocephalic race, where lies your Caucasoids, Aryans, and Negroes, and Brachycephalic race. Consists of mongoloids where the value of cephalic index is 82, 85. So these are our three racial index, racial categories based on cephalic index. How do you make out cephalic index? Breadth of the skull bone in centimeters divided by length of the skull bone in centimeters multiplied by 100. B alphabet comes first. So B will be in numerator. Breadth will be in numerator. In coccosoids, in their teeth, you have a specific thing now. What is that? Carabelli cusp. You get a carabelli cusp usually on molar one. So this is a repeat question. Carabelli cusp usually on molar one. Extra cusp present in molar one is seen in coccosoid race. Regarding mongoloids in their jaw, what you should remember is their jaw is set. M set. M for mongoloids. In their jaw, you will see set things. S for shovel shaped incisors. Shovel shaped incisors. E for enamel pearls. Enamel pearls. And T for torodontism. Torodontism means bulldog jaw like appearance. And in my one of the plus courses, which is going to be held on 10th of February. We will have a image based session, two sessions, one from 10 to 12 in the morning, another from 1 to 3 on the same day. So in this session, we will revise all the image based questions. So in the first session, all the FM images. In the second session, all the TOXI images. Okay. So this is for this is a plus course on 10th of February. And then on 16th of February, we will have our retro revision with the help of MCQs in four hours. Then Pultov's hemorrhage is seen in which of the following organs? Here I will show you the images of all these findings. Carabelli cusp, torodontism, everything. Pultov's hemorrhage is seen in lungs. At which location? Answer goes with subpleural location just beneath pleura. Which lobe of the lung is most commonly involved? Upper lobe, middle lobe, lower lobe. Answer is lower lobe. Is it seen in all cases of drowning? These are small size hemorrhages present over subpleural location mainly involving lower lungs, lower lobes. Is it seen in all cases of drowning? Yes or no? Leading question. Answer goes with it is associated with about 50% drowning cases. Which type of drowning cases? 
फेड ड्राउनिंग कैसे वॉट शुड बी प्रेजेंट फॉर पल्ट ऑफ हेमरेजेस टू अकर द विक्टिम शुड बी लाइफ एंड कॉन्शियस वेन द विक्टिम ड्राउन इन वॉटर ही शुड बी कॉन्शियस देन ओनली ही विल मेक वॉलेंट स्ट्रगल एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ वॉलेंट स्ट्रगल ही विल लीड टू एलव्यूलर हेमरेजेस पल्ट ऑफ हेमरेजेस दे विल बी फाउंड वेन देयर इज एन अटेम्प्ट टू सरवाइव those sessions duly is for plus subscribers they have been planned accordingly for whole february month at different durations now answer this one dying declaration comes under dying declaration comes under which of the following section answer goes with c 32 section of indian evidence act next time they will ask you dying declaration is oral evidence or documentary evidence what you will pick as the answer out of oral and documentary dying declaration is which type of evidence oral evidence or documentary evidence o or d kya lagta hai लगता है ना ओरल एविडेंस होगा बट इफ यू सी द मीनिंग ऑफ डाइंग डिक्लेरेशन वॉट इज डाइंग डिक्लेरेशन द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ अ पर्सन हु इज डाइंग हैज बिन रिकॉर्डेड बाई समन रिकॉर्डेड मीन्स रिटर्न बाई समन सो दैट डॉक्यूमेंट इज डाइंग डिक्लेरेशन दैट इज अ डॉक्यूमेंट्री एविडेंस दैट इज अ डॉक्यूमेंट्री एविडेंस ऑलवेज दैट इज वाई वी से ना इफ द पर्सन सर्वाइव now he will be called in court room to record his oral evidence why because oral evidence has got higher weightage than documentary evidence because cross examination of the witness now can be done and declaration is always remember it is a written document okay who can record dying declaration any person best if if recorded by a magistrate the evidentiary value increases if not available doctor can record if doctor is not available the person is dying in village any person can record what is important is the person should be a person of sound mind yes yes i will be taking i am taking already more classes for uh, all students so i will be planning few more uh, sessions for you all just answer this question last question for today a dead body was brought for a autopsy odor in such case will be with the help of image you have to pick what is being shown to you and then you have to pick the odor these are mummies this is a mummy mummification has occurred and mummies are odorless odorless and this is your adipose ear formation where the dead body gets a creamy yellowish appearance and this is your mummification adipose ear has a peculiar offensive odor called ammonia like odor or ammoniacal odor mummies are orderless so regarding upcoming sessions now i will be planning few special sessions for all the students in an academy app and right now it's time for open house session from 7:30 to 7:45 so all the iconic subscribers they can join and they can communicate with me one to one we can have audio chat for any of your doubts any of your queries okay then bye 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 i will keep you posted regarding upcoming sessions in my telegram group and an academy neat pg telegram group